welcome to the Paper Crafters Library. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this thanks card, which features masking with lace and an ink spray technique. So for this technique, I'm starting with a 3 and 7 8 by 5 and 1 8 inch piece of white cardstock. I'm working on my Ranger nonstick craft mat, and then I have some paper towels here, and I'm laying my cardstock on top of the paper towels. Now to create my mask, I'm going to be using lace, and you can use any kind of lace whatsoever. And these ones I've already used, and here's a fresh piece. And this, these two here are from Melissa Francis, um, and this one is just a random trim that I had in my stash. So starting one color at a time. Now I'm using Delusions Ink Spray, and I've chosen three colors. I've got Squeezed Orange, Bubblegum Pink, and Crushed Grape. Now the thing to note about this technique is that each piece that you do is always going to look different. It's probably going to take a little bit of practice, but there's, to a large extent, it's a very random technique. You can't really control too much where your spray goes. The only thing you can control is how much spray you put on there. So I'm starting with my crushed grape, and you can see I've laid one of my pieces of lace across my cardstock piece. So now I'm just going to spray across like so. And then when I remove my lace, you can see how it's left behind that really pretty pattern. And if you want, you can let it dry or you can go right ahead and do the next one. And I don't know if you can see, but the this is an uncoated paper. This is the paper tray stamp for select white card stock and it's a completely uncoated paper, so the ink spray just soaks in right away. I'm using paper tray simply because it's a heavier weight cardstock. It's a 110 pound weight, so it doesn't curl quite as much. It'll hold a little bit more moisture without curling than lighter weight cardstocks. So now I'm going to take my pink trim and my bubblegum pink spray and just spray. So you see I was holding my spray bottle and I was spritzing as I was moving across. So I was going across and then I'd lift my finger across, lift my finger across. And there you can see what that looks like. And then my final color, which is the orange. And it probably would work a little bit better if you ironed your lace, which I did not. And I'm trying to think if there's something I can use to hold that down. Maybe I'll see if I can... A little bit of tape will work to help keep that flat. Because whatever you're using as a mask, you do want it to sit fairly flat against your paper. So there you can see that. So now, whoops, paper shifted. I need to stretch that out a little bit more. There we go. So now I'm taking the squeezed orange and lifting that out of the way. You can see what a super cool pattern you now have on your background. So I'm just going to clean up my area and then I'm going to take my heat tool and dry my ink spray just to make sure it's completely dry before we move on to the next step. So my paper is now dry. My next step is to add some washi tape and I have here some washi tape that comes from Glitz Designs and it's this chevron pattern. So I'm just laying that across my paper, probably lay it going across a little bit more, and just to make sure it's straight, I'm just going to grab my ruler, and I have it positioned so it's a one and a quarter inches above the bottom edge of my cardstock. end over and then I'm going to take this washi tape and this washi tape comes from Doodlebug Designs and I'm going to overlap that with the 
chevron washi tape, but I don't want it to extend as far as the other one. Still a little bit too much. And then wrap that end around the back. So there you can see what that looks like so far. So now I want to stick this on to my black cardstock and I've got a piece of ebony cardstock from Basil. I'm going to use some of my Tombow Mono Multi-Liquid Glue because the ink sprays, even though the paper being a fairly heavy weight did not warp tons, it still did warp a little bit. So in order to keep it flat I find that it's better to use a liquid adhesive like the Tombow. So I'm now sticking this down and then I'm just going to hold it and press it in place until the glue has a chance to set. So with my glue now set I'm going to apply glue to the back of this cardstock piece, my black, and then I'm going to glue this to the front of my card, and I'm using the orange cardstock from Paper Tray. And I'm once again going to press and hold this. So my glue has now set and now I'm ready to add my sentiment. And for my sentiment I'm using these Alpha Parts Newsprint by Tim Holtz Ideology. I want to spell the word thanks but I want to start at the very end. Now these are plastic and as you can see they're attached kind of to this plastic frame. So I find that you do need to have some kind of cutter to cut it off there. So I'm just starting with my S and then I'm going to work backwards until I spell the word thanks and each time I'm using my cutters to cut my letters off. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish spelling this out and then I'll be right back. So there you can see what it looks like with the sentiment and our card is now finished. If you enjoyed this video, you enjoy the way we teach and would like to learn even more, we invite you to check out the Paper Crafters Library. Whether you're a beginner looking to learn the basics or an advanced paper crafter looking to learn new skills and techniques, you'll find it all here. Stamping, card making, scrapbooking, altered art, we cover it all. With over 1,500 videos currently in our library and over 50 videos added each month, we are the largest and most comprehensive online library of video tutorials for paper crafters on the internet. We invite you to visit our library and see what we're all about.